Right, Shalom. Shalom. Giving all praise to Tihar by Shimiyah Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. That's right. And uh, Shalom to you, Akimander, that's pushing this truth and sincerity. Yeah, just doing a quick video before camp, man, with the brother of Azar. I'm Yakanan. Um, just going to be focusing on, you know, guys that be, you know, watching the videos. You come across um, the truth, man. You've come across this Israelite truth, man. You know, you come across into knowing that you're an Israelite. You know, you've woken up to a, to an extent, but you still got other doctrines in your head, man. Come. You know, and you can't get those doctrines out. You can't leave them alone and just come fully into the truth, man. You're always trying to, you know, hold on to something. Like, I don't know whether it be the Egyptian Book of the Dead or, you know, like researching Babylon and their gods and, you know, thinking it's deep, you know, all that, all that kind of madness, man. But really, if you can't let go of those things, right, and just deal with the scriptures alone, man, because the scriptures stand alone. The scriptures don't need any other source to validate them, man. Go on, before we, before those, man, let me get this one, man. It's Ecclesiastes 12 and 12 says, And further by these, my son, be admonished of making many books. Mm. There is no end. Can't, can't. Right? Break and, it down. Bro. And much study is weariness of the flesh. Like the brother was saying, and this thing of us, you just want to get with the script, especially if you're brand new, man. That's right. If you're brand new, this is the only thing you're really supposed to be getting into with the apostles. Because let's be real, you ain't got this spiritual discernment yeah. to be going into those things. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. I, I always give the example of, uh, what would you call it, how I got bugged out. Not bugged out. I was reading that book, Babylon's Timbuk 2. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I was still fresh. And in, in the first page, it says Esau, the so called white man, mm. was a genetic mutation or something to that effect. Right, right. Now, because right. I didn't have the spiritual understanding, I was going around thinking, yeah, Esau is a genetic mutation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, does yeah, the scriptures yeah. say? Can't. That's right, man. Hey, that's like um, that, uh, the 7% nation, 5% or so. And they think that, you know, Yakub, which is Jacob, and that. They've got all that other confusion that the so called white man was created in a lab. See what I mean? Like all of these different philosophies that you're bringing into this truth into your head, they don't sync up with the scriptures, yep. man. So when you feel something through the scriptures and it doesn't go hand in hand, just forget about it, man. Like that's how the scriptures are. The scriptures is that pure book, man. The spirit yeah. of prophecy bestowed upon us by Yahweh by Shem Yahshai, man. And it's the you know? authority. That's where exactly. you go. You reference everything through the scriptures. That's right. What Esau likes to do is try, uh, what do you call it, um, validate the scriptures using his science, but yeah. no. We validate Esau's science using the scriptures. That's man. right, man. That's right. Yeah, you want me to get this for you, bro? Yeah, but This is Romans sure. 3 and 3 says, For what if some did not believe, shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? That's right, man. So, like, you might come to the camp, right, and you're saying, Look, man, you're acting like we have to convince you, man. That's our job is not to convince you, our job is to give you the, the word. That are in the actual book, man. Mm. And if you, it resonates with your spirit, then it just might mean that you're of the elect. Yeah. If you don't get it, then you know we're going into the next scripture. You, you wasn't meant to get it, man, because there's a portion of our people that are going to be reserved for the slaughter, man. Right? And you might be of that stock that's reserved for the slaughter. So don't like come to the camp thinking that uh, we couldn't prove something to you, which really we are, but you just can't receive it. And thinking yeah. that because that didn't happen, that means the Lord ain't dealing with us. That don't mean that, man. <laughs> We're just delivering More the message. Likely it means the Lord ain't dealing with you. Exactly. It means the Lord ain't dealing with you. So you should be um, um, shaking in your boots, no. man. We're not shaking in our boots. No. We're doing our part of the bargain, mm. which is delivering the word, man. Go on, bro. Right? Go on, bro. Second Corinthians 4 and 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. That's a hey, that's beautiful, man. If our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, man. So if you can't get this truth, if we go through a series of precepts and you're finding it hard, your spirit is finding it hard and bucking up against the truth, then you know what, man? The Lord ain't dealing with you, man. The spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai ain't dealing with you. The scriptures say that my sheep hear my voice, man. So if we give you this word and you don't hear it, that means you're not one of the, the, the Lord's sheep. That's right, man. That's it's as right. simple as that, man. Right? It doesn't get much deeper than that. It just means you ain't of the elect, man. You weren't meant to get this word. You're going to get it on the other side, man. Unfortunately for yourself, you know? Uh, 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 yes, yeah, the second the Thessalonians 2 and 11, please, what Paul for says, and okay. for this cause, the most I shall send them strong delusion mm. that they should believe a lie. That's it, strong delusion that they should believe a lie. So there's a portion of our people that have purposely, by the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, been sent a delusion, man. That delusion might come in the form of Rastafarianism, man. That delusion might come in the form of um, 5% nation. That delusion might come in the form of... Um, what, what's the other philosophies out there, man? The religions out there, man? Hey, man. Christianity, Christianity, man. Christianity, that Islam, might come Islam. Hinduism. That's a heavy demon. Islam, man. If you're a Muslim out there, 
right? You can't get down with this, man. Hey, that's good for you, man. We don't want you in this faith, pure right. Muslim, man. The Lord open up your mind, and that's another story, man. But you know, there's a portion of you guys that are just set up for the slaughter, man. Simple as that. You know? Any more scriptures, bro? Yeah, I got your last one. This is uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 7. It says, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. In that's fact, I mean, right, let me man. start from... Uh, there's, there's a lot in it. I mean, that's the main point. God, ever learning, I'm unable to come to the, the truth, man. Like that's that's a lot of you guys out there, man. You got so much different doctrines in your head. You got so much different philosophies and information you've gathered from various sources, and you can't let them go, man. That's right. right? You think all of them are deep, and you think all of them are 100% truth, or you think there's truth in everything. That's what a lot of our people say. Hey, there's truth in this. There's truth in the Bible, but you know, I can't really get down with the whole thing because you know, how can Adam and Eve be the, the first people? Where did other people come from well if you stuck yeah, to the scriptures yeah. and have patience yeah there's videos that break that down man right? right there's videos out there that break that down so you'll come to that conclusion right there's a lot of things you don't know but oh, but what about hell well if you stuck around we would have showed you that there is no such thing as hell right just just certain things like that man so this thing is all about patience you know and and um hey hearing the word man Hearing the word of the Harba Shim Yashai so you can be sealed, man. But again, some of you are self for the slaughter and ain't never gonna get this truth, man. Right? So understand that. And fear and tremble at that, man. If the Lord has not chosen, you ain't ever gonna get this truth, man. That's right. You know? And if you ain't got nothing else to say, huh? No, that's, the no, that's a lot of scripture. Alright, man. Shalom, Yahba Shim Yashai, back far. Double honors to the Apostle Great Millstone and Shalom to the brothers out there. Shalom.